Davy V TV, Davy V with you. Hope everyone is doing good. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Uh, the channel's growing. Uh, a lot of new content coming. Um, small update uh, with a bigger update coming very soon. Uh, if you've been following my videos about the young man that was hit and killed by a distracted Monroe County, New York Sheriff's deputy in Parrington, New York, just outside of Rochester, I have a couple of uh, quick updates. Uh, on the screen is Monroe County, New York Sheriff Todd Baxter, who still, still is yet to come forward with any body cam footage or any other videos. Uh, and we'll get into that a little bit more in the other update I'm going to do uh, very soon. Uh, now on the screen is uh, Monroe County, New York Sheriff Captain Michael Fowler, uh, the first one to start the spin game, right? And the uh, basically the very beginning of blaming the victim. If you've watched the other videos, I'm not going to explain. Just go back and watch them. Uh, that's why this is called an update. Uh, I've been on this story more than Rochester, New York, mainstream news media, which is not surprising since uh, many of you, at least the smart ones, know. <laughs> no offense to anyone else, but there's uh, people who are completely clueless. Uh, but uh, many of you are smart enough to know that Rochester, New York, news media, like news media everywhere, is uh, in bed, sometimes literally, with law enforcement and therefore help law enforcement uh, escape uh, and evade taking accountability, right? Like in this case where a young man was killed. By the way, the young man has been identified as 32-year-old Wesley Soper of Parenton, New York. And the Monroe County, New York Sheriff deputy who hit and killed uh, Soper, um, the distracted Monroe County, New York Sheriff deputy, has been uh, identified as Michael... Hooligan, not to be confused confused with hooligan. Uh, we'll get into that another time. Get it, hooligan. Uh, well, sometimes uh, that's what law enforcement are, right? A bunch of hooligans. Uh, one big gang, and in this uh, case, uh, as I've told you from the beginning, they will blame the victim. Remember that. And you can go back to this video when they blame the victim, which they've already started to. But when they flat out come out and blame the victim, in this case, Mr. Soper, um, you will remember what I said. And this is a record of it because you can go back to this video and watch it and be like, wow, Davey V said it. It's obvious, everyone, that that's what they've started to do. Um, so I just wanted to do that little short update that they have identified uh the pedestrian who was killed as 32-year-old Wesley Soper of Parenton, New York, and the distracted Monroe County, New York Sheriff deputy who killed him, who hit and killed him, is uh, Deputy Michael Houlihan, um, a three, just over three year and a few months, three years and three months he's been uh a Monroe County, New York Sheriff Deputy. I have a very interesting video coming, which I will upload very soon. It's going to break down some very interesting things, um, including the scene of where Mr. Soper was hit and killed by Deputy Houlihan. And also I'm going to talk about how still, uh, several days after this incident, uh, this very disturbing incident with a Monroe County, with a distracted Monroe County, New York Sheriff Deputy Michael Houlihan uh, hitting and killing Mr. Soper. Still, there has been no uh, transparency, and I'll get into that more in the video again. No transparency still from Monroe County, New York Sheriff Todd Baxter. Nothing. As much as he always claims to be transparent, uh, that's pretty much the uh, blueprint that he ran on when he ran for sheriff a few years ago. Uh, still no transparency from Monroe County, New York, Sheriff Todd Baxter. 
after one of his deputies uh, was distracted, possibly texting, possibly on the phone, possibly speeding. Uh, we will get into that in the next video. Once again, thank you to all the new subscribers. Uh, thank you for watching Davey V TV. Stay tuned.